Okay, now the same page number, number four. The Yoniso Manazigara, Ioniso Manazigara, in the commentary. Okay, now we need to, we don't need to, you know, like uh, miss the original text also. But we will read again. Jana Doham, program number 50. Jana do ham beku we pasa do. Aso wana kayam wara I wanted to read. Jana do ham beku we. Okay, now I will translate again briefly. To the one who knows, who sees, I say the distraction of asawas. Not to the one, not for the one who doesn't know, who doesn't see. So what does he, what does he know, what should he know? Yoni so manasi kara, ayoni so manasi kara. The study I had explained very extensively the meaning of the Yoni Somanasi Kara and Ayoni Somanasi Kara. So what happened if you have Ayoni Somanasi Kara? Ayoni so bhikkhu with Manasi Kuro Do. An open na jiwa asawa obi chandi. Open na ja asawa bua dandi. If you, <coughs> if someone has, if someone attends unwisely, then uh, risen, Tains will rise. The rising tains will increase. Yoni so ja ko beka we manasi kroto. If someone attends wisely, so wise attention, then the rising tains will not rise. The rising tains will be removed or eradicated. So we need to, we don't need to miss the statement mentioned in the original text. Jana do hambeko we basato. So yoni so manasi kara, ayoni so manasi kara, the main conditions, it covers the whole sotas. The Buddha, when the Buddha expounded this sabasava sotas, based on the concept, based on the the two points, yoni so manasi kara and ayoni so manasi kara. Because of Yoni Somanasi Gara, the Kusala Dhammas, 
wholesome states increased because of ionic omanasic gana and wholesome states increase. So for this the commentary also give us extensive explanations of how much this ionic omanasic gana is important. Now you will see in the commentary. <clears throat> So either ni imasi witasa yodin doesn't know aha ionic so pick away bahi and so on. Dina gang hold down hodi, okay. So now this for this paragraph I have already explained in English. Now you are going to see a yampana witaro. Okay. Tata yoni so ionis or ime hi da wa dwihi brihi a better hodi ubri sakala sota. With these two words joined the whole suttas. With the who with the was in a he upri sagala sutam hotam. So yoniso manasikara, ayoniso manasikara. When the Buddha is found these two times, the Buddha's intention is how we, how someone is turning around in the rebirth, how someone liberated from the round of the rebirth. Here, wudda, wu wudda. Also, we should understand the meaning of this word. So Vita is a round of the rebirth. Who Vita is free from the round of the rebirth. Vita and the Who Vita. So Who Vita also can be understood as a nibbana or liberation. So Ayoniso Manasikara Mulaganja Vita. So here Mulaga means the cause or the root. Buddha has Ionis or Manasikara as its root. The root cause of the Buddha is Ionis or Manasikara. So Ionis or Manasikara is the root of Vuvudda. So Ionis or Manasikara, Manasikara Mulagenja Vuddha. Ionis or Manasikara Mulagenja Vuvudda. So Vuvudda is who would have has Yoniso Manasikara as its cause or root? Would a round of the rebirth has Ayoniso Manasikara as its root? Katan, how? Ayoniso Manasikara, he would have mano, tweet him a pre-purity. Because this commentary explanation is very, will be very helpful. To understand the meditation, you know, like uh, the path to the Nibbana. So his explanation is very good. Awajanja Bhavadananja. Dwedame Bhuriti. When someone develops Ayonis of Nasikara, then he fulfills Awaja Bhavadana. Dwedama, the two Dhammas. He fulfills the two tamas, avoja and bhavadana. If you have, if we have ayonis or manasikara, then avoja bhavadana, avoja dana will be fulfilled, will be increased in our mind. So avoja and dana is because of ayonis or manasikara. So ayonis or manasikara. The one of the factors which produce wager and dana. So 
Because of ionisomonasi gara, what is ionisomonasi gara, wise attention, ionisomonasi gara, and wise attention. Yesterday I had explained, if we see visible forms, hear the sound, so smell the odors or smells, touch the tangible things, think, thought, think about things, then at that time we think them as a nature permanent, happiness, beautiful, ultimate or soul. So at that time in our mind, pro in our thought process, there will be ignorance and the craving. The craving will be craving will rise or attachment will rise. So if you like, uh, for example, if you think something is good at the time, you have a desire. If you think something is no good at the time, we don't have a desire. We have a desire. We have we don't have the desire based on the how we think of those things. Like uh, we think they are permanent, they are happiness, they are pleasing, they are desirable. At that time, we want to, we want to have them. In this way, tanta attachment arises. Whenever attachment rises, automatically ignorance accompanied. Where there is a tanta or attachment, there is a wager. So deny a wager rise comes into being because of ionis omnasikara. Okay, here when there is a wager, there will be sankara. A wager bajaya sankara. I think diploma students have already heard this bridge as mobara. Okay, now I wanted to to recite. Awija Bajia Sankara. Even me, Dessa, give less a doctor can Dessa, some more real hardy. Okay. So, where there is a wager, because of the wager, the people, the beings accumulate Kusala Kama and Agusala Kama. So, we accumulate, we make wholesome deeds or unwholesome deeds because of a wager, because of Tanna. According to the Dana, we think to have such a thing or to be born in such a life is good. So we have desire to be born in a certain life. So like I know, we are now living in the human world. In the next life, we want to be born in the, a good life. We want to be born in the, a good destination, like a devil world, or maybe even in the human world. So we have such a tanna. So whenever the people do the kusala kamas at that time, they always pray. We may be in the celestial life. We may be in the happy life. Wherever we are, we are happy. We are wise. We are rich. The people used to pray like this. So this tanna produced kusala kama. Eh? Agusala Gamma. This Agusala Gamma, Agusala Gamma in the Parija Samubada, it is called Sankara. Sankara means Agusala Gamma, Agusala Gamma. Aweja Bajaya, Sankara. Because of the Sankara, we, there will be Prisandi Vinyana, Rebirth Consciousness. 
Because you have done the Kusala Gama, Agusala Gama, as a result of those Gamas, you will be reborn a certain life. At the time, the first consciousness which arises in the new life is called rebirth consciousness. This rebirth consciousness also in the Pali called Prisandi Chaita. This Prisandi Chaita is called Vinyana. Sankara Pajaya Vinyana. But Vinyana Pajaya Nama Rupam, because of this rebirth consciousness, we have the other consciousness, Nama. The other mental properties, Nama. Nama in the Prajasamubhada means Chitasikas. Vinyana is Chaita. Nama is Jitasika. So Nama cannot stand alone. It is together with Rupa. Nama and Rupa. Because of Nama Rupa, this Nama Rupa also produces like Sala Yadana. So Sala Yadana means Cha Ayadana. Simply speaking, Sala Yadana is eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, those in the six ayatanas, including the mana yadana, chakha yadana, soda yadana, gana yadana, jingwa yadana, kaya yadana, mana yadana, six ayatanas. These six ayatanas are produced, caused by the nama rupa. This nama rupa, because of nama rupa, if you don't have the nama rupa, there will not be fasa. If you don't have I, there is no fasa in the eye. If you don't, if we don't have the ear, there is no fasa in the ear. So fasa also based on the depends on the eye, ear, nose, and so on. So sala yerna bejia fasa, fasa bejia wedena. Wedena is you know like a sukha wedena, dukha wedena, adukha masukha wedena. So to summarize, you know, what. So what we have in our present life, in terms of the Brija Samubhada, they are called Vinyana, Namarupa, Salayadana, Pasa, Vedana. These five things are, you know, like a, uh, in the worldly terms, you know, I am, you know, the, this is a man or woman, hand or leg, you know, eye or ear, you know, we, we call it like this. But the, in, in terms of the, according to the Brija Samubhada, such an existence, the whole existence of a being is called Vinyana, Namarupa, Salayadana, Pasa, Vedana. Vinyana, Pada, Vinyana, Namarupa, Salayadana, Pasa, Vedana represent the whole existence of life. Life is called Vinyana, Namarupa, Salayadana, Pasa, Vedana. These five things are called the present result. So, how can we describe ourselves according to the Brija Samubhada? We will describe ourselves Vinyana. You are Vinyana, you are Namarupa, you are Sanayadana, you are Pasa, you are Vedana. So, such a combination of the five things are called a being or the whole life or the whole existence. So, five results at the present life. So, because of, you know, Avijja Yadana, in this life also, we have done new karmas. In the previous life also, we have done, we had done karmas. Because of those karmas, we are born in this life. Now, the life now we have is the result of Avijja Sankara in the previous life. Now we have Vinyana, Namarupa, Salayadana, Pasa Vedana. In this life also, we will do again okay, new kamas. Kusala Gama, Akusala Gamas. Sometimes we will do wholesome deeds. Sometimes we will perform unwholesome deeds. This karma also we are doing again okay in this life. This karma also will produce in the next life Vinyana. Nama Rupa, Sala Yadana, Pasa Vedana. In the next life also we will do again Niyu Gamas, Kusala Gamas, Agusala Gamas because of Avijayantana. Then, you know, 
in the next next life also there will be this five result. Whether you are human being or whether you are deity or whether you are Brahma or whether you are you know animal or whether you are in the abaya, whatever it is, they are called in the in terms of the Prija Samubada five times. Vinyana, Nama Rupa, Salayadana, Pasa, Vidana. But if we call someone in different names, a different appearance, there will not be end. The Buddha precisely used these five terms to mention the whole beings in the 31 planes. So these five terms are represent five results. Okay, such a round of the rebirth is made by the Ayonis or Manasikara. I, I wanted to look at, you know, Ayonis or Manasikara Mule Genja with them. Yonis or Manasikara, Yonis or Manasikara Mule Genja with them. Okay, Katam. Ayonis or Manasikara. Okay, no. I'll carry on. Ewe Yam. Ayonis or Manasikara Bahulo Pugolo. What are we, we can be guarding? We can not now we are. Kinga Woody, Petita Gokula, we are. Chaka Yandi, Yota Balipa, we are. Puna Puna, Bawa Yoni, Kitty, Winyana, Titi, Sata was a suit. I would have pre with a grotty. Even our Ionis of Manazikara, Mulagan with them. Okay, now I want to do that paragraph. A one, a yam. Okay, now I think I should translate this paragraph for the Bali students, you know. Ewa ayoni so manazikara bahulo bogolo. Okay, you look at the, that is, you know, the main verb is karoti. Karoti to make. Awuta priwita. Awuta priwita means a turning round. Makes turning round. Makes turning around also you can translate to revolve. Revolve. Turn round. Our Dabri with Angrodi. Turn round. What is subject? Bogolo. Do you see? A young Bogolo. Our Dabri with them. Grodi. That person turn round. That person turns wrong or turning wrong is turning wrong. What kind of person? Ayoni so manasikara bahulo. Bahulo is modifying to the pogolo. This person who has match ayoni so manasikara. Bahula means match. The person who has a lot of, a great deal of Ayonis of Manasikara is turning around. Okay? It's turning around. Where he is turning around? Bawa, Yoni, Gadi, Vinyana, Titi, Satta, Vasesu. In the existence, in the rebirth, in the rebirth, in the Kittis, in the Vinyana Titis, in the Sata wasa, there are important terms. Bawa is one word. Yoni, one word. Gadi, one word. Winyana titi, one word. Sata wasa is one word. How many? Bawa, yoni, gadi, winyana titi, 
sat down was that five times so the person who has a lot of ionis of manasikara is turning around in the bowas in the yonis in the gati destinations in the vinyana titi vinyana titi means in the existence of vinyana consciousness sada was in the abode of sadas beings no? sada and the avasa the person who has a lot of ionis of manasikara is turning around in the existence in the yonis in the destinations in the existence of the consciousness in the abode of the beings okay so how he give us <clears throat> examples what we ga bi ga de na vipannatha vipannatha na wa hu ya is one examples vipannatha na wa na wa means the boat boat b o a t boat Bigada is hit or struck. Wada wega is speed of the wind. So webanada is broken. Now I is boat. like a program boat hit by the speed of wind webanatha nawawiya okay now the next one is ginga wedde patita gokulan wiya here wedda means wapul wapul is wetta ginga is ginga reba in the wapul of ginga reba the gogula is the group of the ox or the family of the go ox like the family or the group of the ox so who fallen who has fallen fallen in the wapul of gengarepa the wapul you know is wapul is you know the, the in the water the flu is around you know turning around if you you know fall into that and you, know, you will you know the sink you cannot escape from the wapul ginga with the patita gokulan wiya now the next one is chakka yande yogda balipado wiya yogda balipado yogda hiya means a yogt Alibada was an ox, a bull. Bull ox. Chaka yanda is, you know, the end of the wheel.
like a bull who are which are yoked in the wheel there are three examples like a like a boat like a broken boat hit by the speed of wind ganga with a pretty gogul and we like a group of ox falling in the wabu wabu of ganga river chaka yan the yoda bhali pad we are like a, a bull or ox bull ox which are yoked in the wheel puna puna again again puna puna is adverb so there are three you know upamanas in the in my commentary class also similes are called in the bali upamana so what is upamaya rayam upamaya is ayam bogolo ayam bogolo is upamaya upamana is the three upamanas three similes like a boat program boat like a group of ox falling on the wabu of the ganga river like a ox which are yoked in the wheel ewa yam ayoni so manasi kara bahulo pogolo tapasa who has a, a lot of a great deal of ayoni so manasi kara where be turning wrong Turning around, where, where, where he be turning around? In the boas, in the yonis, in the gatis, in the winyana titis, in the sata wasas. So sata wasas, sata awasa, the abode of beings. So Bhava is There are three Bhavas, Kama Bhava, Rupa Bhava, Arupa Bhava. So Rupa Bhava means Rupa Brahmas. Rupa Brahmas. Aruba Boas are Aruba Brahma. So the Brahmas are divided into two. Ruba Brahmas they have mind and the body. Matter. The Aruba Brahmas they just only with the consciousness. So Kama Bhava now we are living in the Kama Bhavas. In the Kama Bhava, Dirichanas also, animals also included in the Kama Bhavas. Yoni also, I think, uh, you can translate uh, a way of the birth is called Yoni. How someone is born? So, Andaja Yoni. Anda means egg. Some beings are born from the egg, like, uh, you know, the chickens, you know? like, uh, you know, the roosters, some du ducks, you know, some animals are born from the egg, and the ja yoni. The jalabuja, some beings are, some People are born from the mother's womb. Jalabu cha. Jalabu means fetus, uh, mother's womb. Mother's womb is called Jalabu. 
The love is mother's womb. From the womb, some beings are born. Like uh, uh, the human beings, you know, we are born from the mother's womb. Like uh, you know, some you know, snakes also born from the womb, mother's womb. The labuja yoni. The sansi the ja. So sansi da. Sansi da originally it means a moisture. So from the moisture places, like you know, mosquitoes, flies, they are born from the moisture places. Sansi the ja yoni. Oba Badika Yoni. Oba Badika Yoni is like a, for example, it, it mainly refers to the deities. So, Oba, according to the Oba Badika Yoni, as soon as they are born, they are born like, a, you know, 16 years old. Like, for example, in the Dewa world, you know, like in the Dawa Desa, those deities, they don't, they don't need to be pregnant. Like in the human world, the, the mothers, they have to carry their you know, children for 10 months or 9 months. Like other beings also in the human world. But in the deity's world, they don't need to carry their babies in their womb. So the one who is about to be their baby, their children, they appear automatically in their place, in their mansion, in their bed. When they appear, they appear as a 60 years old. So for the, you know, for male or female, for the female it is 16 years, for the male it is 18 or 20 years old. They don't start from the one year, two year, you know. They automatically appear with the complete organs, complete, you know, the limbs. Those beings are called Obabadika. Obabadikas are Deities, Brahmas. All of them are called Obabadikas. It is a Bawa Yoni Gadi. Gadi is, you know, like a Dewa Gadi, Manusa Gadi, Abaya Gadi. Now you have already known. The Gadi means a destination. Now the next one is Vinyana Titi. How many Vinyana titties for the senior students? For the you know senior students, Vinyana titties. Seven Vinyana titties. Satawasa is nine Satawasas. So ikata means a similar. You know, here senya means chaita. So what kind of chaita? Rebirth chaita. Rebirth consciousness. Nanada gaya means a different body, a different appearance. A different appearance. Appearance are different. But the same, the same, you know, like a 
know the uh, the rebirth consciousness we start with the nanada kaya nanada sanyi nanada kaya nanada sanyi so if you say like a nanada nanada also means various or different nanada kaya nanada sanyi various rebirth consciousness of the first one the in you know, a different types of bodies different types of appearance nanada kaya nanada sanyi you know the, this technique term also we should know so the what kind of beings are rebirth like a human beings some you know dead some wini party cars they are called nanada kaya nanada sanyi okay now if you see if you look at the human world there is a no no two who are the same you know and the, you know the seven billion people in the world you know? so there is a no one who you know there is a no you know two who are the same each other no the people are different from each other you know way of you know the moving way of walking way of smiling way of speaking appearance some are you know fat some are thin no one is completely the same which is called nanada kaya so nanada sanyi is in the human world like uh, you know we have the you know the prisanti chaitas the prisanti chaitas are how many prisanti chaitas 10 prisanti chaitas the nine prisanti chaitas you know the for the human beings nine prisanti chaitas a hetu ka du hetu ka ti hetu ka some are born with the du hetu ka chaitas some are born with the ti hetu ka chaitas some are born a hetu ka chaitas so nanada kaya nanada sanyi refers to the human beings or some deities some wini patikas now the second nanada kaya ekata sanyi the same prisani chaitas different pearas nanada kaya ekada sanyi so according to this second is refers to the abayas abaya beings you know abaya how many abayas four the first one hell animal hungry ghost peta asura kaya all of these abaya beings are they have only one prisani chaitas this prisani chaitas is ahetuka agusala vipaga ahetuka upakasa hagata santirana chaitas you know only one prisani chaita so which means ekata sanyi the sanya here means rebirth consciousness prisani chaita this prisani chaita even though you know there are a lot of animals a lot of beings so there are you know, billions of the animals you know not only in the you know earth in the water also you can see but they have only one prisani chaitas abayas but their body is different their appearance are different in the you know animal life also the appearance are different in the hair also the bear appearance are different not only the abayas here is abaya abaya and prathame jana bhumi no the brahmas prama prame jana bhumi the first jana bhumi brahmas those brahmas also the same prisani chaitas but their body is different 
In the the first Jana Bumi Brahmas, they have like a they are called Brahma Barisaja, Brahma Burohida, Mahabrahma. Okay, they have only one consciousness. It is a the first Vipaga Brahma Jana Chaitas. Okay, now the next one is. Ekada Gaya Nanada Sen Ekada Gaya Nanada Sen The body is the same The body is the same but Nanada Sen different Rebirth Consciousness Ekada Gaya Nanada Sen No? Ekata Gaya Nanada Sanyi. The same body but different rebirth consciousness. They are called Dudi Jana Bhumi Brahmas. Second jhana plain Brahmas. Second jhana Brahmas are they have two prisani jaitas. Duriya jhana prisani jaita, vipaga prisani jaita, and tatiya jhana vipaga prisani jaitas. The two prisani jaitas, according to the Panchakanya. So their rebirth consciousness are different, but their body is the same. So Duri Jana Bhumi is a Pradabha, Abhamanabha, Abhastara. Now the fourth one is Ekatagaya Nanadasenyi. Ekatasanyi. Ekatagaya Ekatasanyi is, it refers to the Tati Jana Bhumi Brahmas. They have the same, they are. They have the Chrota Jana. Vipaga Jaitas, only one rebirth consciousness. Their appearance also completely the same. Prita Subha, Abba Mana Subha, Subha Gena. So Tadiya Jana Bhumi, Tadiya Jana Plain, those are the Brahmas, the same consciousness, rebirth consciousness, the same fear as what I mean is when you see them you cannot distinguish who is who. They are they are, you know, when they maybe sit down here, you know, one thousand Brahmas from that plane, I think it is very difficult to know who you are familiar with, you know. Maybe maybe you, you have seen one time that his name may be Desa, you know, Desa Brahma. Later you will see him again, but with the other people, you cannot distinguish who is Desa. You know? The same PRS. So very interesting to know, you know when you learn the Viti Mudda Prachita. Because in the commentaries, so there are many, a lot of interesting explanations about those Brahmas. But here I could not, you know, the, uh, give the, you know, take the time, because otherwise our Sutta will <laughs> Well, we're not be finished, you know. So, Ekada Gaya, Ekada Sanyi, you know. Those Brahmas are the same parents. Like here, you know, the, now when I look at you, I can, you know, the, uh, identify who is who. But in, in that plane, you know, you cannot identify them. They are completely the same. Like, you know, in some countries, when they, you know, make houses, build the houses, when the houses are completely the same, how do you define? How do you identify? 
I'm going to the numbers. If there is no numbers, you cannot know where is your house. Where is your friend's house? You cannot like this. He also ekata kaya, ekata seni. So now the next three is important. Uh, the is okay. Agasa neja yadana. You have already know. Wenya neja yadana. Akenja nya yadana. So with the three, there is seven wenya na titis. Okay. Seven Wanyana Titis. Now you have, you know the seven Wanyana Titis. Okay, now please repeat after me. Nanada Kaya. Nanada Sanyi. Nanada Kaya. Ekata Sanyi. Ekata Kaya. Nanada Sanyi. Ekata Kaya. Ekata Sanyi. Agasani Jayatana Agasani Jayatana means Agasani Jayatana Brahmas, you know. Winya Ninja Yatana Agenjinya Yatana. Now you come to know this seven Winyana Titis. So one of the difficult terms to understand. You know? Seven Winyana Titis, you know, you have already known. If you understand the seven Wanyana Tidis, you can understand nine Sata Waza. It's okay. In the seven Wanyana Tidis, you just put Niwasinya Nasinya Yadana together with the Niwasinya Nasinya Yadana, eight. Together with Asinya Sata, nine. Okay? You add two more to, to the, this seven. The first one is Niwasinya. Nasinya Yadana and then Asinya Sata. You know? Asinya Sata, also Brahmas. You know? Asinya Sata, Brahma. Asinya Sada Brahma and Niwasinya Nasinya Yadana. Together with these two, we have nine abodes of beings. Sada Wunyana Tidi Nawa Sada Wasa. Sada means a seven. So Sada Wunyana Tidi. Sada Nawa Sada Wasa. Seven Wanyana Tidi Nawa Sada Wasa. Okay, now you have understood this one of the difficult terms. Okay, so now we will continue. Ewan uh, Yam Ioniso. I wanted to read again this Pali. Ewan Yam Ioniso. Manazikara Bahulo Bogolo. Ewan. Okay, so now we understood this paragraph. So with the technical terms. Okay, how about the Yoniso Manasi Kara? Yoniso Manasi Kara Bana Wuda Mano. Yoniso Manasi Kara Sambana Sidi and Baker with Baku no Padi Kinka. Ariyam Atingi Gamaga and Bawisadi. So now I don't explain, I don't translate this paragraph. When someone has a Yoniso Manasi Kara, he will develop noble equal path. Because of Yoni Somanasi Kara, yesterday also I had explained what is Yoni Somanasi Kara. 
Yoni Somanasikara, briefly speaking, it is Vipassana Jnana. When there is Vipassana Jnana, there is Nuba Ipupat. Whatever we see, whatever we hear, we think, we contemplate them. We see them. They are rising and disappearing. We see them as a rising and disappearing. Eyes also rising and disappearing. At the moment of the seeing. Ears also rising and disappearing. At the moment of the seeing. So like uh, the, the, this matter, like uh, now you are sitting here, but you are, your form, mind form is disappearing, rising and disappearing in the 5,000 crore times at one second, you know, at one second, 5,000 crore times, like maybe 500 billion times, you know, 500 billion times, estimately. So every moment, every second, I mean, what I, you know, I think a second is much longer. You know, like, uh, you, you know, the split of the second. No, even the second. In the, within the split of second, our body, our mind, is rising and disappearing, rising and disappearing, five billion times within split of seconds. So now you are not you. Now, before you came here, it's you know, eight, eight o'clock. At that time, you is now, not, now you. You are different now. The moment, at the moment, you enter this building, your mind, your body, you are, you know, at the, in your body, the matters are already disappeared. The new matters, new elements are substituted. So now you are not you now. Because of this, you know, you cannot step into the same river twice. Do you understand what I mean? You cannot step into the, the same river two times. Every time you step into the river, it is a new river. Because they are flowing. The water is flowing all the time. So the body is also all the time, within a split of seconds, is too fast, too quick, disappearing. Rise or disappearing, rise, disappearing. So if someone sees such, such a rising and disappearing, then he I understand, oh, everything is impermanent. Everything is suffering or dukkha. I don't want to translate the dukkha suffering. Dukkha means a changing. You know? Like a, no ataman or no soul, no control. We cannot control. No beautiful. If you see like this, it is called Yonisomnasikara. Because of Yonisomnasikara, we have developed Nova Epo path. If you have de e developed Nova Epo path, what you get, you want gradually, when you are practicing meditation, inside meditation, when you are developing inside meditation, you will reach the different kinds of the jnanas, Uriyabhya jnana, Benga jnana, and so on. Finally, you will attain Sotapati Mega jnana, Sakaragami Mega Jnana, Anagami Mega Jnana, Ahata Mega Jnana. In this way, because of Yonisomanasikara, we can be liberated from the round of the rebirth. So because of this, the, in the commentary also said, Yonisomanasikara Mulagam, we would We would liberation has Yonisomanasikara as its cause. Because of Yonisomanasikara, there is liberation. <clears throat> okay, now I wanted to see. So page number five. 
So in the page number five, you will see the second paragraph. Data, Ioniso Manasi Kroto, Oda Pagare, Ioniso Manasi Karem, Obadi Yato. You know, I don't translate that sentence. So here, in the commentary also, it, is, it explains extensively. Anupana Jiwa Asawa, Obijan. You know, I wanted to look at again original text. In the original text, Ioni so bake away, Manasi Kroto. Do you see? Anupana Jiwa Asawa, Obijan. Obana Jiwa Asawa, Obijan. That Pali sentence will be explained in the commentary. So, what is Anupana Asawa? At first, you have to focus on anubana asawa, upana asawa. What is anubana asawa? According to the sansara, we don't. There is no asawa that never have been you know, in our life. We in the anamadega sansara. Sansara means a beginningless. So in the sansara, there is no beginning. In the beginningless sansara, round of rebirth. There is no asava that has never been to our life. Every asava we have been. So, according to the sansara, there is no nupana asava. Because we have already experienced every asava. We are full of asava. How many asava? Kama asava, Bawa asava, Data asava, Awaja asava. Okay, don't forget these four kinds of asava. What is Kama asava? Sensual desire. What is sensual desire? Sensual desire to for rupa form, sound, smell, taste, tangible things. So, what is tangible thing? Is such a you are clothed, you know. For example, that you are sitting in the you know ground, that you you have bed. Such a you know tangible things are called you know the putapa. Uh, Puttapa, Rupa, Sada, Ganda, Rasa, Puttapa. So we have desire for the form. Form means a visible form. We want ourselves to be beautiful. Like we want someone else to be beautiful. We like beautiful things. Like, you know, even for the buildings also, the buildings should be beautiful. When you see there's some, you know, Asian, you know, uh, you know, uh, the history gets sites, or you, the most people visit that place, they look at, what do they look at? Very beautiful architecture, you know? The, you know, the flowers are, you know, the, you know, the depicted, you know, carved in the stones, you know, in the, you know, the pagodas. They see it, they are very happy, you know? It is a desire for the rupa. The desire for the sound, and we like a music, but if the music is too loud, we don't like. <laughs> for example, we like the music, but the sound is too, too noisy that we don't like. But then you should have the Yonis of you know? Okay, now we have desire for the very beautiful sound. So not beauty, very beautiful sound means like not only the very beautiful sound, but if you want to hear, the praise word. If someone praise you, that we, we like. You may live a long time. When we hear like this, we are very happy. Tomorrow you will die if someone says, you know, you will be unhappy. You are very bad, you know, if someone tell you, and you are very unhappy. You are very good if you say, if someone tell you, someone, you know, tell us. We are very happy. It is also designed for sound. So now the design was small. We don't want the very best smell, you know, we want the perfumes, we, we like perfumes, the, the you know, smell of the flowers. So like a smell, a good smell of the places. When you enter the one place, the place is full of disgusting smells that you don't like. So we like, we want to have, we have desire for the smell. It is like a rupatana, as a kandatana, no? rupatana, sadatana, kandatana. We like, you know, to have a very good food. The food should be delicious. 
the food should be healthy. Healthy also, no, later we add. In the very beginning, the people, they like delicious food. Later, if every delicious food is not good for our health, so they don't like, even though it is delicious. So, delicious food, we like it is rasatana. Now, we like, when, we, when you wear clothes, the clothes should be very soft. And then the clothes is very comfortable. If the cloth is very coarse, you know, coarse, rough, you know, we feel uncomfortable. At that time, we don't like. So this is a puttapatana. Such a five kinds of the tanna craving is called kama sova. You know? Every day, do we have the kama sova or not? And we have asova every day in the morning. And you know the. Starting from the wake up up to the sleeping time, you know, every day, every time we produce aswas, you know. Maybe aswas that come into our mind. So this, you know, kama aswa, bhava aswa means, so like uh, if someone, some people, they don't want to be born in the human world, the deva world. It's very noisy, very unquiet. They want to be born rupa brahma. They want to be born Arupa Brahma. So like a desire for, desire to be born in the Rupa Brahma, Arupa Brahma, is also called Pawasawa. Like, you know, some people, they develop the jhanas, you know, Brahma jhana, the first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana, the fifth jhana. After develop the jhanas, they they are attached to their own jhanas. That attachment is called pawasawa. Sometimes, you know, sasada deity, I mean the eternalism, rise in our mind. It is together with the loba, tanna. Sometimes the nihilism, we call the ocheda deity. Some people, they don't want to be born in the new life, you know. Like they, they believe, after that life, there is no more life. They believe in, in such a, you know, the wrong views. Such a wrong view is called Ocheda Deity. So our life will continue together with Adam and also it is Sasada Deity. The Sasada Deity, Ocheda Deity come together with Loba Tanna. Such a Loba is also called Bawasawa. How many? Three. No? Rupa Brahma to be to desire desire to be born as a Rupa Brahma, Arupa Brahma is also called Bawasawa. Attached to the jhana Bawasawa. The Loba or Tanna together with the Sasta deity, Ocheda deity is also called. Pawasawa. How many Pawasawas? Three. Rupa Jana, Arupa Jana, we are attached to the Rupa Jana, Arupa Jana. It is called Pawasawa. Now, some people, they don't want to be born as a human being. Some people, are, no, they don't want to be born as a deity, you know. Jadu Maharajika, Tavarisa, Yama, Yama, Dusit, and so on. They want to be born Brahma. They like, they are attached to the existence of the Brahma. Such a being, such a tana is called Pawasawa. We are attached to Janas. Rupa Jana, Arupa Jana is called Pawasawa. So Bhavazwa is a lot. The first one is desire for Rupa, the life of
attached to the ruba jhana arba jhana So craving associated with sasada deity, ocheta deity. There are three kinds of bhavasavas. So because of this in the commentaries, now in the Sabhasavasodas, there are only three asavasa explained. There are some commentators explained. By taking the bhavasava, automatically data asava also included because of this the third type. Associated craving associated with the Sasra deity, Ocheta deity. The first one is a desire for the life of Rupa Brahma, Arupa Brahma. The second is attached to the Rupa Jana, Arupa Janas. So Rupa Jana is the first Jana, second, third, the fourth, the fifth Jana, Rupa Vajra Janas, Rupa Vajra Chaitas. So Arupa Vajra Jana is Agasa Nija Yadina Jaita, Arupa Vajra Chaitas. Those, you know, we if someone has attachment to the those jhanas, is also called bhavasava. The craving associated with sasada deity eternalism, ocheta deity nihilism, is also called bhavasava. So by taking the bhavasava, automatically data sava is also included. So kama sava, bhavasava, data sava. Awaja so what? What is awaja so what? Ignorance. No? Awaja is ignorance of moha. So now, kama so what? Usually in our daily life, we experience kama so what? Usually in our daily life, we experience data so what? Okay, whatever you see, like uh, when we see the beautiful visible forms, when they're they are rises of Rupa Tanna. For those visible forms, we take them as our own. We think it is never disappearing. It will exist forever. We think them as a nature, permanence, sukha, happiness, atta can be controlled. So if you see like this, it is called data sova. Where there is karma sova, there is data sova. Karma sova and data sova, they appear together you know, for the ordinary be beings. Okay, here the command data explained. Anupana jiva asava obijandi. The asava sova, which has never been, never risen, appear. The unrisen, Things will rise. So, what kind of aswas are called anupana aswa? What is anrizam aswa? What is Anupana Asawa? So he explained, the commentary explains, sometimes we, we will get what we have never experienced. Like Abri Ladi Da Popa Ji Wara Deng So, you know, in the, the four requisite, the monastery, the dwelling place, you know. So when I have now the my, my Ji Wara's rope. This Ji Wara is, you know, like a normal jiwara, normal robes. The later I will get the very good, very beautiful, you know, very expensive jiwara rope. That jiwara I have never get. I have never obtained such a robes. 
if you have something which you never have obtained, which you have never attained, such a thing when we get, at that time we have desire for that. Such a asawa is anupana asawa. But normally we like a, for example, you know, have you never have you ever been to the Himalaya? No. Himalaya mountains. Okay, Himalaya mountains are very beautiful. I have never been there. But if you maybe if you visit that place, at that time you were very beautiful flowers, very beautiful animals, then you know desire rises. Such a desire means anupana asawa. Because you are asawa, our asawa never rise for such a we have ne such a things that we have never seen. We have never experienced. So such a new asawa rise because of new things. Like in the you know the one hundred years ago the people never seen, you know, like a smartphone or a tablet, you know. They have never seen it, they have never obtained it, they have never experienced such a beautiful things. If maybe you know one of them now they are born again, now that he, he they will they will come here and they will get such a very beautiful smartphone at that time, the desire rises. That desire, that asawa is called anubana asawa. Now, uh, generally, we see, you know, the people that we are used to see. Later, you, know, you will see some, you know, like uh, new people, they attend to you, like for the monks, you know. New donors, for example, for the monks, here is, you know. I go into the commentary. Upataga sati huyaringa andi wasika nawa inyatara manonyam wetong padila vaitongwa. Manonyam means a pleasing, pleasing things, pleasing properties. Manonyam wetong. So, for the months, later they work at the new donors and new disciples. At that time, the desire, attachment, when the attachment rises, such an attachment is called new asawas, anupana asawa. So this asawa is defined according to the things whether you have seen or not. The asawa rises for the things that you have seen, it is upana asawa. The asawa rises for the things that you have never seen or you have never experienced, it is Anubana asawa. So later after, you know, you will get the very beautiful monastery later in the future. But because you have never been, you have never attained, you have never possessed, you have never owned such a very beautiful monastery, such a very beautiful house. At that time, after attaining such a beautiful house, if you have desire, Desire rises. Such a desire is called anupana asawa. That desire never, never risen because you have never seen such a things. For the new and the beautiful things, if there is a desire, there is asawa. That asawa is called anupana asawa. It is a little difficult to explain. You know, <coughs> you may be, you know, the you may concentrate. So in the Commentary, it is Anubuddha Bhopa. Ananubuddha Bhopa. There are two kinds of Aramanas.
Nanu Buddha means that that has never been, that has not been experienced before. Anu Buddha means, Anu Buddha Boba means, has been experienced before, has been seen before, has been enjoined before. Anu Buddha Boba. So, when the Asawa rises, because of things or persons, which has never been experienced before, such an asawa is called Anupana Asawa. Okay? For the things, for the beings, for the persons, for the people that you have never seen, that you have never experienced, for, for such a things, for such a persons, if there is a desire, if there is asawa, that asawa is called anupana asawa. Okay, now you can understand now. Okay, now there is one more thing is anuputa pukwe pija wato mi wa aram mi wa. Yes, sir. Pakati saudi ya wa. Ode sa pri pocha priya di nama gama yoni sa manasi kara na wa inyadara wa se na pukwe anupichita wa picha. So that is one condition. Another condition is, even though you have seen the things, the people that you have never seen before, at the time, Asawa doesn't rise. Why? Because of you are learning sutras, you are learning the commentaries, you are learning, you know, like uh, you are developing meditations. Maybe some people are originally, they are very pure, you know. Some people are born, you know, they come from the Brahma world, for example. They don't want to marry it. They don't like, uh, you know, uh, like uh, the, you know, karmas, you know? Uh, you know, the sensual desire that they don't like. They don't like, uh, you know, uh, you know, their desire is very, 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 you know, the, the little, very weak. Those beings are originally they are pure. There is no desire or asawa never rise. Even though they have seen the things, people that never have been before, never experienced before. At the time, no asawa arises because of their nature. So now, formally, you know, Usually, when we see very beautiful things, very new persons that we have never seen before, at that time, Asawa automatically rise. For the persons who are pure by nature, they don't, the Asawa don't rise in them. The Pakti Sauti Sometimes also you are very busy, you know. You are very busy with your business, or maybe you are developing meditation very intensively. Maybe sometimes you are learning sotas or commentaries, then your mind is so pure. At that time, even though you have seen such a very beautiful things, very beautiful persons that you have never experienced before, that is, at that time, no asthma arises. But after, you know, having seen having experienced such a beautiful, new beautiful things, and new persons, later you think about, then Asawa arise again. The first time Asawa no rise, then later Asawa rise again. That Asawa is also called Anupana Asawa. So now I'm explaining is what is Anupana Asawa? Anupana Jiva Asawa Opijan in the origin of canonical text we have seen. What is Anupana Asawa? Now I'm explaining to you. There are two things. You have you have very good car, you know, that car you have never got. You have very beautiful house that you have never got before. You have a lot of money that you have never got such a lot of money in the before. Because of those new things, new experience, new persons. If asawa rises, this asawa is also called an open asawa. By nature, you are very pure. That you are maybe busy with something, 
But you are learning the suttas, commentaries, so you don't have time to think about them. At that time, the first time, when you see, when you experience them, no asava rises. That asava, later you think about it, then asava rises again. Such an asava is also called anupana asava. Okay, let's stop here for this morning. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.